you. George Solis is in Ellicott City, where earlier tonight, Howard County officials were urging people to seek higher ground. George? Yeah, it was really about half an hour ago that the rain really led up here. Access to Main Street was temporarily uh, set here, but of course the road is now reopened. Of course, not many cars coming through because most of the businesses are closed anyway, but Howard County officials continue monitoring rainfall totals, hoping there won't be another catastrophic flood. The road leading onto Main Street in Ellicott City is wet and comes with a warning. Wednesday night, the flash flood watch still in full effect as a steady stream of rain fell over the region. It's enough to make locals pay extra close attention to the forecast. Every time I drive home, I leave or I come back home, there's those big LED signs saying flash flood warning, and you're wondering, is it happening again? It was only two months ago since the deadly flooding that swept through the area. A state of emergency is still in effect, allowing business owners a chance to rebuild and recover after the devastation. Yeah, people don't realize. Yeah, they it's, don't realize you can be swept away really, really quickly. It's because of that concern that Howard County officials decided to shut down Main Street. Officials tweeting out updates during the hour the road was roughly closed. One update urging people to seek higher ground. Eventually, officials tweeting out they believe the channel could withstand the rainfall. They're taking the precautions that are necessary. Yeah, and Howard County officials say they'll continue monitoring rainfall totals as well as rising bodies of water and urge anyone that lives out here to do the same. Live in Ellicott City tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. All right, George, thank you.